All right, so here it's getting all the Twitter posts posted by Elon Musk and Sam Altman in the past 24 hours. And here it's getting all the AI newsletters sent to me in the past uh, day. And now the AI agent is working through each and every newsletter and using Tavily to search the web to get more information about that newsletter or news. And then it will go out to the summarization AI nodes that will summarize the newsletters for me. And now it's going to merge the two and uh, review the tweets that it found and then send that to myself in Telegram. So AI news are really overwhelming. You know, every single day, every hour, some new news, AI updates, tools, just flood the internet. And no one can actually keep up with every single thing. So I built an automation inside of Anaden that actually gets you up to date on exactly what you want and only that. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so to explain the workflow, it's actually really simple. I know that Anaden may um, look really complicated, but it actually is really simple. It's basically a trigger every single day and it goes into two paths and we use RSS feeds for both of them. And I'll get, get into that later. But yeah, the first path is get latest AI Twitter posts. So for example, I have a setup for Elon Musk and some Sam Altman. Um, you can do whatever you want. And one of them goes down to an AI newsletter. So you have a custom inbox um, just for the AI newsletters through an RSS feed. And they both filter out for you know relevant posts and emails and then shoots, th shoots that over to an agent that uh, for the newsletters searches the web if it is if it's relevant. So you know if it's around GPT-5 or something it searches the web and gets more information about that because in the newsletter you know they don't cover everything so we want to get detailed information and then it summarizes it and goes together in one single message and just sends you a message every single day and like i mentioned the first note is on the rss feed which is actually a pretty old concept um, it's kind of declined over the years but i think it's pretty sick to use it's uh, yeah, basically a way to keep you up to date on websites or news that you want to keep up, keep up with, um, you know, with all the algorithms in place right now, it's kind of uh, not as much in use, but um, yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty nice. And yeah, it's basically just a publicly accessible XML file. Um, so if we take Elon Musk, Elon Musk's uh, Twitter, for example, um, it looks like this. It's basically just text um, that you can access and RSS app basically just presents this in a more nice way and uh, really customizable and you can create a new feed so you know the sky's the limit when it comes to this you can hook it up to whatever you like really you know Instagram Twitter um, you know threads Facebook all of the articles websites you can create a, a custom one so if you have a custom website you can you know build it yourself it's definitely not limited to, to what I have set up. You know, obviously I have uh, Sam Altman and Elon Musk as well as uh, email new newsletters, but, you know, be creative when it comes to this. You can do, you know, Reddit, Reddit like I have here and, uh, you know, blog post and whatever. And when it comes to the newsletter, I have set up an inbox that just gets newsletters from specific newsletters that I want and I have uh, subscribed to. So, for example, I have... Uh, your everyday AI, the rundown, um, we have TLDR news, we have Ben, ben Spites in here, you know, everything. So yeah, how you do this is you go to new feed and click newsletters and then this button here. And then you get just this inbox that you can copy and just go to some websites and subscribe to a newsletter that you want. And then you, then you just wait for the emails to roll in and yeah i use rss app you know of course there's other rss feed uh, alternatives out there but uh, i found that rss app is the best in my opinion um you know i'm not affiliated with them whatsoever so yeah you do, do need to pay ten dollars a month um there is a free plan but you know you barely get anything and i would say that you kind of have to um, get this plan to be able to run this um, automation properly but this is like nothing when you compare you know the value you get from the automation you know getting 
up to date with AI today is super powerful. So yeah, ten dollars is not a lot. And yeah, when it comes to the workflow, we have the uh, trigger. You would uh, swap this out with a scheduled trigger once a day. But for now, I have just the um, test trigger. But yeah, I have three um, RSS feed nodes in here. So the Sam Altman, Elon Musk, and Daily AI Newsletter. And it goes into two paths. So the first one, like I said, just gets the Twitter posts from the last 24 hours from these guys and merges them together and then waits for um, the other path to finish. And yeah, the AI newsletters, the output we get from this is really like, you can't really read it at all. You know, this isn't something um, we can read and giving this to AI would just use unnecessary tokens. So we have a code module here, which strips the HTML from the emails. And don't worry, you know, code, I know it may look intimidating, but you know, I don't know how to code and I just make AI code for me. You know, it's not hard at all. So yeah, and you don't have to code yourself um, or ask AI to do it for you because um, you can just copy this and, and use this. So, but if you change something, you know, you use an alternative or, you know, the key changes or something, um, just keep in mind that you may have to update this. And yeah, then we have a loop that loops over each and every email. So for example, we have seven emails coming in, um, in this example, and they all go through an AI agent that has a tool connected to Tavli, which is just a tool that um, lets the LLM search the web for relevant and up-to-date information. And inside of here, we ask the agent to either output um, no relevant AI news found if there's no relevant AI news found. Um, but if it finds something that uh, is relevant, it should output something like this. So, you know, AI news update, the headline, um, summary, the links, and uh, everything like that. And yeah, we have, of course, the instructions in here. I'm not going to get into details and read this out loud, but uh, you can check it out uh, in the blueprint down below. And yeah, once it's done, it goes through this um, code module here that basically just takes all of the outputs, um, in this case seven, and inputs them or outputs them in one single string. So um, as you can see, they uh, are all in one string here. And we give that to a summarization AI nodes that just takes this string and beautifies it, makes it uh, easy to read, so I can just uh, go in and read it really easily. As you can see, um, you know, this won't look like this in the Telegram chat, but uh, yeah, it makes it super easy to um, read. And yeah, then once that's finished, it merges here with the other output. And then they both continue at the same time to this module here, which basically um, makes the AI review the tweets based on the summary that we just generated. So here's the new summary and then here's the tweets and we ask it to mention something if it's relevant. So, you know, if, if it's something we've already mentioned in the summary, you know, we don't have to, but uh, like I said, you know, Twitter is usually the place where, you know, the news just appear the first. So, you know, sometimes um, we have gold mines in Twitter. I would recommend hooking that up and, and exploiting that. But uh, yeah, if there's nothing, it just outputs nothing. But in this case, um, it outputs this tweets from today. Look to, to look at um, Sam Altman, technologist, uh, the complexity of developing GPT 4.5. Um, and then Elon Musk, some tweets um, from him. And yeah, then it goes just to this um, set summary module, which uh, just takes the output of the two, the um, summarization AI node, and then the tweets. And it looks like this. And finally, this is the output. So we have the date, 3rd of Mar March or 1st of March. And yeah, the summary, the tweets, and uh, we're good to go. Just to mention two notes, um, you don't have to use Telegram, of course. You can hook it up to whatever you like, you know, WhatsApp, um, SMS, just 
really whatever, whatever um, chat trigger you want, email if that if you prefer that. And don't be confused by this module here. Um, we're not you know working with any data here. Um, this is kind of just a hacky way to wait for both paths to finish. So if you don't understand what we're doing here, um, don't worry. You know we're not using any data here. So yeah, like I said, be creative when it comes to this. You know you can do a lot of things with RSS feeds. You can even you know hook up 10 feeds if you want and create bundles with multiple feeds inside of them and, and the sky's the limit really so yeah if you want to download this yourself uh, feel free to do that for free in the link in the description and just import it into your own environment and if you found this helpful consider hitting that like and subscribe button and uh, let me know what you guys want me to build in the comments below and uh, i'll catch you guys later take care